Welcome back to another segment of Michigan Conservative Roundtable. My name's TJ. Please like, share, and subscribe. Last couple days I've been reading a few articles about uh, different groups and politicians that would like to see President Biden impeached, removed from office. And one of those politicians was, lo and behold, Lindsey Graham. You know, the same guy who wouldn't entertain the possibility of last year's electoral anomalies. Well, as far as impeaching President Biden, I don't think I'm there yet. I kind of feel like we're in a catch-22. Now, let's start with the obvious. If President Biden were successfully impeached, impeached and, and then found, uh, voted and removed from office, we'd be left with Kamala Harris. And when you think about it, is a left-wing loony any better than, say, a guy whose brain is out to lunch? I'm going to be the political pragmatist here and just say, hey, you know, I'd rather have Biden in his current mental state than, than deal with the lunacies of uh, Kamala Harris. Should President Biden be president? No. Neither should she. And this is where I make kind of make the case of, you know, you know, we've we've been told this when we you know go to the elections. I picked the lesser of two evils. Well, yeah, I'm picking the lesser of two evils. And when I say evil, I mean evil. <clears throat> Just another thank you to the high road, uh, never Trumpers and rhinos that facilitated this whole fiasco. You know, I I, I ran my. I ran this segment by Mac, and it's, it's Mac's suspicion that there's some a type of shadow government from Obama uh, run, running the show anyways, and, you know, he, Mac could be right about that, and, and, and if there is truth to that, then, 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 then you ask, does it really matter if it's Biden or Kamala Harris, and, and uh, you know, that, that, just, that just takes you off I, 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 into a whole other segment, I guess. So, in removing Biden, I ask, what is the end goal? If it's not about correcting last year's electoral anomalies, then this is all just political posturing taken to a whole new level. I kind of have to wonder if uh, some of these politicians aren't aren't saying this as a means of camouflaging their their screwed up positions uh, and uh, conduct the last few months and last year, you know, going back to the electoral anomalies. These uh, D.C. Republicans are full of it and full of themselves. And, you know, and I'm going back to my original question of should President Biden be impeached? Uh, as the saying goes, I- I'm, I'm content to go with the devil I know. I say we go full throttle on the forensic audits. Hopefully they get expanded into more states. Expose the elites as elites. Show the election to be the joke that it was. And make this the primary issue of 2022, starting with the primaries and targeting the rhinos. And then in 2024, what better, uh, what better payback than to get President Trump back into the presidency? The other day, I read an article on the Gateway Pundit, called TGP for short. They released an article by Joe Hoft, dated 8-20-21, and it was released at 12.55 p.m. It's the type of article I wouldn't dare discuss in depth on this platform for fear that we'd get a strike and then be put in YouTube jail. I'll have to parse my words here. Joel Hoft explores the hypothetical regarding sham elections and the ruling elite's hunger for power. I encourage everyone to read this article. Uh, Perhaps, uh, I'm going to think about this one, but maybe this is a segment we put on the other platforms. But uh, I'll, I'll think about that. And one final word before I wrap up this uh, segment here. This past week, we got two strikes on YouTube. Uh, Originally, we were going to be put in uh, YouTube jail for a week, but Mac appealed both. Mac 
won one appeal and he lost one appeal. So we were left with a warning. If we get another strike, we will be in YouTube jail for one week. And then if we get a third strike, we'll be in YouTube jail for 90 days. So at this point, we've got to choose our topics carefully and parse our words even more carefully, I guess. But in any event, uh, the, uh, the video that got uh, struck down on YouTube was released on the other platforms and actually did pretty well. It, in fact, uh, uh, it, I think it got more views than, than, than we might have otherwise. So thanks everyone. But uh, uh, we also released a video on the other platforms that we were pretty sure had we released it on this, and I think it released just the other day. Uh, yeah, we would have gotten another strike for that video. So, so now you know, uh, we obviously we can't put on put on this platform what we'd like. So, so we're yeah we're we're, we're going with some other platforms here. And when I say other platforms, BitChute, YouTube. Rumble. So, so if you could be looking for us on those platforms, okay? So that's it. That's it for this one. Uh, stay with the devil I know, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, suck it up. Deal with the out-to-lunch President Biden. So, uh, now those are just my thoughts. Tell me if I'm wrong, by all means. And that's a wrap. As always, be safe. Watch your six. And don't tread on me.